Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use Widget Smith on your iPad Pro. So first of all, I want you to load up the settings app, tap into general, and then tap on the about option. You need to make sure that your software version is software version 14 or newer. The reason why is because Widget Smith requires software version 14 in order to download. Next, I would recommend that if you own software version 14, you upgrade to the latest version of iPadOS. And the reason why is because on the newer iPadOS firmwares, you can add the widgets anywhere on the home screen on any page. On iPadOS 14, uh, you are limited to adding widgets in a today view, which is uh, around here. And you can't add it anywhere on the home screen. So definitely upgrade your software if you haven't already. Once you have done that, let's load up the App Store and let's download the WidgetSmith app. So you can search up for WidgetSmith. This is a completely free app to download. Once it's downloaded, let's open it up. And from here, we have the option to create a small widget, a medium widget, or a large widget, and even an extra large widget. So here is the deal. If you want to see how those widgets look like, uh, this is a small one, this is a medium one, this is a large one, and the next la uh, extra large one is like this, but even larger. So let's go here and let's say for the sake of this video, I want to create a medium widget. So if you tap on the medium number one, you can see you can edit this current widget. And if you would like to add a new widget, you can tap on add uh, medium widget, and then you have the same options right here. Okay, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on this widget, and you're gonna see you have a bunch of options to mess around with. So by default, it will be set to photos. If you wanna change what the widget is, you can just scroll down, you have all these other options, dates, you know, whoever. Do keep in mind some of this stuff is premium. You can see the star. If I tap on the star, you can see, of course, the subscription model, yearly, £19 a year to use those premium widgets. But stuff like the weather, I'd recommend you just use a native, you know, Apple weather widget. I think that is the best one. But if you really want to, you can use those premium widgets. So let's say for the sake of this video, uh, I will use, you know, just a photo widget. And you can see it's right here. Now do keep in mind when you change the widget you want, the options here below will change. So you can see countdown, these options here do change. So that's just something to keep in mind. And in order to select these options, you just tap on where the text is and you can see the option shows up right here. So we have the theme and you can see, uh, first of all, it wants us to select a photo. You can see that text right there. Of course, if you aren't using a photo widget, it won't say that, but in order to see how this will look like, let's tap on selected photo, choose photo, and let's choose that photo. So we'll choose this one here. And we'll go back to the aesthetic theme. And you can see here all the different themes you can apply to the widget. So I'll choose this lapis one. And then you also have photo filter. And you can choose, you know, how the photo looks like. Original, vibrant, and all that good stuff. Again, some of this stuff is premium. That is something to keep in mind. Now, once you are happy with the widget you have created, you want to go back and then tap on save. So now we have medium widget number one and medium widget number two. So let's say I want to add the widget on the home screen. How do I do that? So let's go to the home screen and you want to long press with one finger. So tap and hold, not tap and release. Just tap and hold on the empty space. Empty space meaning anywhere uh, which isn't an icon, right? These icons here, not empty space. This here is empty space. So let's tap and hold and give it a couple of seconds and now these icons will wiggle. And then from here you tap on the plus and then you tap on search. Search up for widget smith, and you'll see it right here. So you can see small widget. Uh, if you created a small widget, you can select that. You have medium widget, which we created. So I'll select this, and then you have large, and then extra large. So we created a medium widget, so let's tap on add widget. And you can see the widget has been added. But you may notice something. That doesn't look quite right. Where is the photo? Well, here is the deal. If we go back to the widget smith app, you can see we created multiple widgets. And we can actually switch between these widgets that we would, uh, would like to choose. So in order to do that, you want to long press on the widget, edit widget, and you can choose which widget you want to have the home screen show. So remember, we have two, medium number two, medium number one. So medium number one has the photo, so we want to select medium number one. So let's long press, edit widget, and we'll tap on medium number two, and we'll select medium number one, Give it a couple of seconds and boom, there it is. You can see that widget has shown up. So what that means is if you ever want to create multiple medium size widgets, anytime you tap on add medium widget, create that widget, and then you long press on the home screen, plus search up for widget smith, tap onto it, and then choose that medium widget. And then you uh, always uh, uh, long press on the widget, 
edit the widget, and then choose whichever widget you have created. So I'm going to remove this for the sake of the video. So remove. And if you ever want to delete a widget you created, you just slide to the left. So like that, slide to the left, delete. And just like that, you're good to go. You can do the same thing for any size widget you would like right here. Now, there's one other feature you may want to play around with. Let's tap into a widget. And you can see we have add a timed widget. So let's tap on this. And what it will do is you can see we have default. So default is a widget which will show up on any time of the day. And you can see I can change this wheel here. This wheel showcases a secondary widget we may want to add. Let's tap into this one. And we just uh, want to create, you know, a widget. So we'll just choose this one, photo, date and time. And we'll select a different photo here. So choose photo. We'll choose this one. And so here's how this is going to work. So between eight and uh, seven, you can see this photo widget will show up. And then any other time, this regular widget will show up. So right now it's 6.35. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this like this. And so if we tap on save, we should see, there we go. You can see right now, the other widget is going to show up. And then once the time, so if we go back here, once the time goes to uh, eight o'clock, this default widget will show up. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to move this. So you can see from five o'clock onwards, we're going to have that regular widget here. And then between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., we have that other widget. So let's tap on save. Let's take a look. And you can see the widget changes just like that. Now you can add multiple, you can see throughout the day, if you would really like to. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And if you just tap on the widget, delete, you can delete it right here. So we'll just delete these or we'll delete that. And that will remove the time widget if you want to remove the timed widget. So really, that's all there is to it. I would love to stretch this video to eight minutes, but you know, I've covered all the information and that's all there is uh, I need to cover. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like if this video helped you out. See you guys later. Bye bye.